We're getting booched today, bro. So you guys remember our little Apple friend who ah. was who was flying into GameStops, getting a little GameStop stamp in the corner, and then in Canada getting a little EB Games logo on them. Well, GameStop is at it once again to celebrate Santa Conda's huge improvement getting the VMAX version and the upcoming Anaconda set. Don't. Exactly. Don't. For chilling Sorry. rains on the launch of the uh, the launch day, 18th of, Ju- of June, you could walk yes. into a GameStop or an EB Games in Canada and you could get a promo card for spending $15 on Pokemon card product, Sorry, I, TCG merchandise. I can't hear you over the snake. There's a snake in someone's <laughs> boot it's, here. It's a little, and it little is loud. very loud. But he's he's having fun. Uh, there's a promo card. It's a it's it's an image we've already seen before. It's it's a Santa Cana we've already seen before. It is exactly from, uh, it's from Battle Styles. Is it from Battle Styles? Yeah, it's it from might, Battle Styles. Yeah. It said it, it may be the most recent one from Battle Styles. It might be. If not, it's. I mean, there's been like five that we've had. It's like one in every set. But it'll have the the you know the hollow pattern that could potentially have some swirls on it. So that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, it'll either have the GameStop stamp logo in the corner or the EB Games logo if you're in Canada. I think the EB Games mm-hmm. logo looks a lot better because it has some uh, yeah. some color in it. Definitely really cool. Um, yeah, you could they you could find those starting June eighteenth. Fifteen dollars on merchandise, uh, Pokemon specific game card game merchandise. And, uh, and yeah, you could get one of those for free then. Well, not free, I guess, but 15 bucks. But it doesn't cost you any extra to get it after mm-hmm. that. So you buy four packs of the, if you can find four packs of 16 bucks, you get the free card in there. You buy uh, a tin, you buy uh, a box, you buy something over $15, you get this card. Uh, so that's really cool. I'm excited for it. I think it's a cool little promo. It gives you a little incentive to, to go check out your GameStop if you haven't been there in a while. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely try and get myself one if I can. I think that's pretty cool. Hopefully, hopefully GameStop does a little bit better job distributing this promo uh, this time yeah. around. Last they, time was a little rough, I think. I didn't even get one in the store last time. That was rough. Nate just got like randomly. He's like, "Here's a few for you." Some people <laughs> were like, "Yeah, they couldn't get it because they didn't have any Pokemon cards at the store." Yeah, like n- not all GameStops were on the same page. Like some GameStops were like, "Yeah, we don't have any Pokemon cards. Just buy fifteen dollars worth of stuff." Others were just like, "All right, here you go." Since we don't have any Pokemon cards, and then others were very strict by the rule. You have to buy fifteen dollars worth of Pokemon cards, and they would not give them out unless you did that so um so hopefully this time around things will go a little bit better i would yeah i, would I hope, hope so. so i hope I so. think yeah they probably got feedback on the last run that they did and now they're like all right guys this is how you have to do it be better do i know better, some man. some game stops are even like we have to scan it into the system because it has a barcode on the back mm, uh, some were like we we have to scan it uh, when you check out, but my GameStop did not do that at all. Yeah, it's so, very, it's very it dependent on how the certain GameStop was allowing them to go out or not in the districts. So maybe it'll be as simple as, all right, you bought it, here's your card. Maybe you just have to spend the money and they scan it once, you're good to go. But um, I do, I do think it would be smart if they kept the scanning system there to one, so they can make sure they get a sale, but two, keep it accountable for the employees to actually hand out the cards, and there's a tracking yes. system that shows when someone spent the money that that card was then given out and not just, you know, mm-hmm. oh, being held by the employee for any reason. I yeah, think that was the biggest like, oh. thing. I think there was a lot of employee issues holding some cards back at certain GameStops, so. Or, like, a big <laughs> stack of them, a big stack of them going missing. Like, yeah. mm, that's oh, so weird. A whole Where box this... of them on eBay? Yeah. That's crazy huh. how that so happened. So bizarre. That is rude. How yeah. rude. Yeah. Very how rude. Very rude. I hope... How rude. Oh, my God. Stop cutting so... me off, random rudely. Wait, who's... <laughs> is that from Full House? What is that from? It is. It is from... Oh, my God. I've seen Stephanie, that. But anyway, uh, either I've... way, we know the GameStop problem was happening, so... Yeah, yeah, we do know that's happening, so... I was going to say, I hope that they changed the logo on this to have the red word on GameStop and not just all black. That'd be nice. Yeah. It's not even like reflective of their actual logo, and it was like way more boring. They did yeah, it for the EB games. If you're going to brand EB games something. It has a little, has a little, a little tiny yeah. maple leaf on it. It's great. It's, it's cute. Yeah, if you're going to brand something, brand something, you know? Yeah, brand it. Brand Go for it. Brand, yep. Go for it. Um, yeah. And I'm sure that, you know, I'm sure that, that probably Poke Beach will probably have images up of that um, a lot sooner rather than later. So um, keep a watch on that website. 
a fantastic place. Seriously? Seriously. 